In this box is my dream knife, and I haven't even seen it. Don't know what it looks like. Don't know anything, really. Don't know very much about it at all. But I thought I would save it and open it for you. So how can my dream knife be in a box and I don't know what it is? If it was my dream knife, wouldn't I know what it was? Well, as you know, my favorite knife, and my favorite style of knife are bushcrafting knives. I get asked this question all the time. I'm not a huge knife collector type of guy. I love knives as much as you do, much as the next guy. But I do really like the bushcrafting knives. I like to have one knife that I really like, that I'm comfortable with, that's got a history with me, that's really versatile, that I can use in survival skills or shelter making or hunting, something that's really good all around. And for me, what I really enjoy, carving, whittling, all those things, is a bushcrafting style knife. This here is my favorite. Best knife I ever had, the Spyderco Bushcraft. Several of you have bought these and my recommendations and I've heard back from you that you've really enjoyed them. I've never heard anyone who didn't love the knife. I've never felt a knife in my, that felt so good in my hand before as this one. Just think the world of it, just love it. But some time ago, I was contacted by a very talented knife maker by the name of Jonathan Deering. Jonathan Deering talked with me and we emailed back and forth and he claims that he has put together the perfect knife for me. All my specifications, handle material, color, length, size, steel, all the things that I wanted in a custom handmade knife. My heart is racing. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. The question is, will the knife in this box replace my favorite, replace my spider coat? Let's find out. Enough of my, enough, enough of the chitter chatter. Again, the seal is not broken. I have not seen it. No idea what's in here. I have been anticipating this for a long, long time. Ooh, I am excited. I'm just, I'm super excited right now. I really am. I can hear, I can just feel the... <laughs> you don't know, I'm just sitting here smiling. I'm just, got a big smile on my face. Oh, it's this. really wrapped up here, is it? Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have never, just starting with the sheath, I've been taking it, I have never in my life seen Finer leather work than that. My goodness, look at that. Look at the, look at the burnishing. My goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Should we take it out? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I don't really know what to say. All right, initial imp my initial impressions. 
while I'm just thinking out here loud. One complaint I've had against the Spyderco Bushcraft was it was too heavy. It was too heavy. It is, it, it is well balanced, but I, I also, it's just too heavy. Oftentimes I have not taken it with me in packs backpacking, although I really wanted to because I couldn't take the weight of it. This is a better balanced lighter knife. It doesn't need to be so thick. Do you see how thick that Spyderco is? The Deering knife is maybe two thirds the thickness. My goodness, that's a beautiful, beautiful knife. How good does that white look? Man, that is a gorgeous knife. Look at this, look at these, these, um, what do you call these, these, these rivets? Which one do you like better? Oh, yeah. The feel of it is so good. It's so, it's a big, strong, robust knife, but it's, it's so much lighter in the hand. It feels, it's not so heavy in the front. This knife feels heavy. This feels, wow, that's beautiful. I can't get over the fit and finish of it. Oh, look at this. The, the, the tang in the knife, it's tapered. It's fatter here. It's tapered to the back. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful knife, Jonathan. I mean, it's just, just flawless. It's just flawless. The attention to detail on this, the tolerances, the finishes on this. I mean, the more you look at it, the more you see. It's just elegant. It is just beyond elegant. It's just beautiful. Oh, that's a work of art. Love the blade shape. I like this better. One thing that this has not been very good for is it's not had um, it's not had that a little that belly right there, which is so important. Like when you're skinning something or you're even you're cleaning fish, that really drops down to that point. This has got it's still a very strong tip traditional bushcraft knife, but it's got more belly in it, which makes it more versatile, especially for processing game. And, and if it, if you're kind of gonna roll this into, might need to use it for, for butchering or skinning. You can actually skin with this knife. No, it's not a skinner knife. It's not an ideal knife for that, but it's a whole lot, whole way more suitable for skinning than this one. That's a, it's a great design. Look how it rolls. It rolls off the back of the handle. Very, very different blades. You can see there. Boy, that is nice. Boy, it's sharp too. Do we have anything here? Oh, we've got a little piece of really hard hickory here. Hickory's really hard. Yeah. Look at that. I'll bet you can shave paper with that, no problem. You want to know if a knife sharp, shape paper with it. Look at that. Yeah, that's sharp. Here's the let. <laughs> that's re that is really sharp, really sharp. There's a letter here. I, I don't know. This might not be intended for you. This might just be personal. Oh, it's a uh, from Deering Knives. Letter letter of authenticity. 
Thank you for purchasing a knife from Deering Knives. We hope it serves you well for as long as you want it. This knife was completely handmade in the USA with raw materials and carries a lifetime warranty for any defects in craftsmanship or quality regardless of changes of ownership. Specifications. Wrangler Star Model Forester, blade model 8th inch thickness, OS1 tapered tang, 4 inch blade, Scandi grind, 4.5 inch handle, ivory paper micarta with brass mosaic pins. Thank you and God bless. Hand signed by John Hendering. Wow. Tapered tang. Can you imagine trying to do that? What that means is, see how thick that is? That's, that's just a piece of, that's just a piece of steel, you know, just the way it came and Spyderco punches it out. Not that, this is a nice knife. I'm not, not saying it's not, but it's not, it can't compare. It can't compare to the detail of this. And so the knife maker, Jonathan, would have to put that taper in there. I mean, there's no reason for it other than just man distinguishing himself from mass-produced machine-made knives. That's, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of a, yeah, uh, you won't be doing this. You're not going to be doing that with the machine. The handle feels great in hand. Just perfect in hand. I like that it's so light, Jonathan. It feels like a strong, sturdy knife that I could do anything I wanted to, but it's just not so heavy. It really is. There's a huge weight difference between these two. Man. I'd have to say that it just, it, it just, I, I, it's hard to know, you know, what it's going to look like. I, I looked at pictures of Jonathan's knives and the Deering knives, and they're just gorgeous, but you can't tell until you get one in your hand what it's like. Classic. Just elegance personified. White micarta. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? The two look good together there. Ebony and Ivory living together in perfect harmony. I'm dating myself. Well, I don't know what to say, Jonathan, other than this is this is one of the finest things I've ever seen. It's it's exquisite. I can't say I've ever seen anything sharper than this. I know nothing I've sharpened it. Nothing I've ever sharpened has been like this, ever. I mean, that is beyond, that is beyond. Whew, I'm gonna get my hand on that. Man, that's beautiful. Nothing like a custom knife, but just the production knives are nice, but they just, I can't compare. I mean, this was every piece of this made by hand. Wrangler Star Forester knife. Thank you, Jonathan. This is this is uh, something that will stay in my family that I will just enjoy immensely for years and years and years. Boy, the sheath is beautiful too. Looks like eBay might have a new have to generate a new item number there. Look at the look at the finish on that sheath. I don't know if it, that burnish is going to come through and how well whoever did this. I, I don't know if Jonathan's making a sheath. Jonathan, please come in in the comments if if you can tell us a little bit about the sheath as well. I mean, absolutely. Look at how it's burnished and f all finished on there. Look at the difference. Man. Well, there's a lot of great knife makers out there. I have some beautiful knives that have been made for me. 
I'll have to say this is among my favorite. This is one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. If you want to, to treat yourself for a loved one, maybe if you're a wife watching this, you want to do something really special for your 25th, 50th wedding anniversary, whatever, special birthday, I would highly recommend it. I'm going to put a link to John's site there in the subject heading. Um, go down below this video. You can click on that and look at his knives. They are, they are exquisite. They're just exquisite. Boy, that thing speaks for itself, huh? Thank you, Jonathan. You are a true artist and craftsman. It is just so impressive. Deering knives. This is what I would call an heirloom tool.